The day after its endorsement uh, by the National Assembly, the Committee on Appointments will next week start approval hearings for cabinet nominees and attorney general nominees by President William Ruto. This comes amid calls for members of the committee to exercise oversight and to scrutinize nominees with questionable integrity. Citizen TV's Ayub Abdi. The committee chaired by National Assembly Speaker Moses Masika Wetangula this morning conducted a planning meeting to set the ground for the vetting process. Day one will see the vetting of Musalia Mudavadi, who was nominated by President Ruto as the Prime Cabinet Secretary. The day will also feature former National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi, who is the Attorney General nominee, Defense CS nominee Adan Duale, Foreign Affairs CS nominee Dr. Alfred Mutua, Water, Sanitation and Irrigation CS nominee Alice Wahome. The National Assembly Majority Leader Kimani Shungwa maintains that the process will be above board. And I want to assure Kenyans this will be an open, transparent and very accountable process in the National Assembly. And it's open to the public. Uh, the media are invited and I think uh, the Office of the Clerk has already notified the uh, media institutions. And therefore, let's wait for Monday. You will see everything we ask. Other members of the committee saying they will preside over a fair and transparent process. We'll follow the law, we'll follow the due diligence uh, to give the country the best of the best. Well, of course, it's going to be thorough, uh, thorough than before, more thorough than Kenyans have ever seen. And because we are at a critical moment where the economy is in a bad shape. The Azimio One Kenya Coalition political party leadership has already guided its members to reject nominees with integrity questions, identifying public service nominee Aisha Jumwa and the agriculture CS nominee Mithika Linturi and calling for their rejection by the National Assembly. The committee is expected to table its report in Parliament on or before the 27th of October. It's made up by the National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula, his deputy Gladys Bos Sholei, the majority leader Kimani Shungwa, his deputy Kilifi North MP Owen Bayer, minority leader Opio Wandai and his deputy Robert Mbui and 15 other members. Following the approval by Parliament of members to the committee on appointments, lawmakers who constitute the committee have pledged guidance by conscious of scrutiny to give a pregnant Kenyan public the desired outcome cabinet members who will address the mounting economic challenges in the country. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV, Parliament.